Hey guys, my name is CMC. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Thrones of Britannia, a Total War Saga. We are playing as Wessex. We're playing as Alfred the Great. This is episode 6. Guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below your feedback and suggestions for the series. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying it. In today's episode, we're going to be marching against the Welsh, and we're going to be taking Wales for, for ourselves. We're going to be attacking the Welsh kingdoms and taking out Gwynedd. Just want to say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly once more for sending me early access for Thrones of Britannia and allowing me to start my campaign a week early. Thrones of Britannia will be out on the 3rd of May, the 4th of May if you are an Australian like myself. So, we currently have 60 units here, about 6,000 men mustering near Hayford, and we're going to march over the Welsh border in a moment. I currently have four full stacks and three half stacks. I have skipped a little bit ahead. We're turned 65 into that campaign now, and we're going to be marching on into Wales. I'll quickly recap what happened in the last episode and where we currently stand as Wessex. But here is Alfred the Great's army. We have his son Edward, the heir with us, and we've also got his son-in-law Todbert, who is married to one of Alfred's daughters. So we've got three full stacks here. Pushing further to the west, we have another full stack with Aetherwald, who is my brother-in-law. Married to my sister, Tom Bird is, uh, Todd Bird is my son-in-law. We have another army here in Northwick, Northwick uh, with Aethel Hurd, a randomly generated general. I do, manage to, I do plan to marry these generals into my family tree. We've also got, where is he? Wigmund, who is my son-in-law, married one to, my, to one of my daughters. He's going to be here in, uh, in Kent. And I've also got Aethel Wald, Wald. Uh, another randomly generated general. So, I've basically got my 60 units as my invading army. I have my 17 units here is going to be another invading force, but we're having a little bit of public order issues here. And I also want to try and uh, muster this a bit better. These guys defend Viking invasions. Um, so basically what happened in the last episode, we managed to declare war upon... Uh, there was a sort of Viking holding in the Midlands. We managed to take that out. We also had a civil war which ended, and we, were, we ended up finishing the episode at war with Kanu. What has happened since then is not too much. Took a lot of rebel territory. Nothing really too much has happened. Uh, this is currently the territory that we occupy. As you can see, the yellow is ours, the blue is our vassals. We puppeted Mercia in the last episode, um, but uh, Kanu, or is Kanu? I think it's Kanu, isn't it? Or Sir? No, it's, Ka it's Kanu, yeah. Uh, yeah, we managed to take off the Vikings here, and we've got the war with Kanu. I sent a war co-target down here, so my vassals are dealing with that. I want to invade other factions. Like, the thing is, right, I can send my armies down here and quite easily deal with this rebellion, but I sent my ma vassals down instead to deal with it because I've already got my guys up here. I want to start invading other kingdoms. That's what interests me, not dealing with stupid um, rebel quarrels. But also, something massive has happened. I will go through my family tree in a moment. That's not it. But diplomacy now, we are now called... The Anglo-Saxons. We have formed the nation Anglo-Saxon. We've changed from Wessex because... I'm not going to lie, guys. It was really anticlimactic off-camera. We hit our short victory conditions, having all this territory of Kent and whatnot. We managed to, like, take um, Stutfall, <laughs> Stutfall or whatever, and then it's like, okay, you've got so much territory now. You've subjugated so many people. You are technically the Anglo-Saxon nation race. Well, that's cool, but it was kind of off-camera, and there was just a lot of order resolving in bit between, like, building the economy. I try to edit my series a bit, especially when there's sort of lulls, but something epic's going to happen here. We're going to invade the Welsh. We're going to push against, uh, I don't know, Bre Breck, Inuk. Who cares? We're going to be invading the Welsh, primarily Gwynedd and their king, um, Tweed Tweedrick. So, that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. Um, what else can I go through now? There's my objectives. We're 89 out of 100 for Long Conquest. We still need a lot more provinces. Family tree-wise, if you can remember in the last episode, we had, an, we had the Civil War against Aethelhelm. 
In hindsight, what I should have done is before Edward became of age, I didn't realise this, um, I could have actually nominated him my heir before um, Aethelhelm became of age. Aethelhelm, Aethelhelm, what a superb commander we had within the first five episodes. Unfortunately, we had to kill him. Wigman did did so, in, and uh, in doing so, managed to marry Aethel Gif, my, uh, my daughter. So yeah, funnily enough, my two, my two nephews have rebelled against me and caused civil wars. Wessex usurpers. Both of them. That just shows you the difficulty we're on. So here's my family tree. We have Aethel fled married to Todd Bird. We actually have some children finally as well. We have Here's With, a daughter. But bloody Aethel fled had a bastard son. Aethel bald. So that's bullshit because... Aethelbald is a nobody. We need a blood. It's it's his bastard. I should have your head for having an affair with, with someone else but my daughter. You've got a princess here. 24. She's organized. She puts her... She... She... She puts everything in the kitchen really nicely. The supplies. She makes sure there's five supplies. The bread. The cheese. The ham. The lettuce. And the butter. But sometimes she misses the tomato, so maybe that's why I did it. I don't know. Anyway, BLT. No bacon. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Anyway, Edward. Married to Eggbird. Uh, yeah, Eggbird, 30. She's alright. And Aethel gets married to Wigmund. And we've still got uh, Aethel Hun and Oz here as well, coming of age shortly. Right. 1894 Diplomacy Wise. Uh, that's what's basically going on. We're only at war with Kanu. There's actually a decent amount of separatists down here in red and here as well. Look, it's not going to cause me any problems. It actually helps if my vassals sort of get attacked. Because as you can see, we managed to take Kent quite convincingly. Um, so we're going to be pushing against Breck here. Rye Woolen. God, these names. But we're going after Welsh Kingdoms. Gwisling are my vassals, so we're not going to do that. Gwynedd, they had territory in Ireland, didn't they? Look okay, how many, many men they're at war with. Rodri here as well as a Welsh kingdom we can take. But Mercia has expanded quite a bit. But if we can get rid of these Welsh kingdoms, get Wales under our fold, we can expand a lot. As you can see there, we nearly have a bit of it. After that, we'll probably go to war with Northumbria. They are quite massive as they manage to take Northumbria. Uh, Scotland. Scotland is not looking good whatsoever. There's been a huge Viking invasion in the north. So let's have a quick look at that. I'm pretty sure they're Viking. Who are they? Orc. Orc Rina. I think that's how you say it. You gotta have a punt. As long as you know what I'm talking about, it doesn't really matter. So who's this? King Sigurd. Oh, okay. So they're up in the north here. The orcs. The orcs from the north. King Sigurd have managed to smash the Scottish here. And what's going on here as well? Stratklut is not doing too well. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Sudri, I think that's how you say it. Sud... Right, oh fuck, I'll give up. Right, what's going on in um, Ireland? So basically, yeah, looks like he's definitely Viking, isn't it? Yeah, great Viking sea army, uh, taking hold. Yeah, the Vikings basically have Scotland. The Gaelic kingdoms aren't doing too well. Stratklut is technically Welsh. Um, looks like... This kingdom here it seems to be the biggest. Ooh, lad. Difflin isn't that big, though. They've got a couple of sort of Viking holdings here. Kingdom of Mead. Flan Cena. <laughs> That's enough for me. Can't do it any better than that. Because we might get copyrighted. <laughs> right. Flan Cena is uh, hanging out. So, looks like Ireland's still sort of squabbling. Vikings haven't really got a hold. There's no alliance or anything. Nah. Like, even, like, the Irish don't even... Oh, no, they've got... Yeah. Oot, lad. Okay, right. Anyway, it's time to get stuck into some battles. So, that's what's basically going on with the campaign. We're going to march into Welsh territory now. Let's take out these four, these wolves of land cores. Let's push where we can. So is that the best possible way to get there? You're kidding me. Really inefficient. That's fine. We'll push for the next one here as well. And we'll push here as well. Oh, is this really going to hamper my relations with them? 
Has it given me three different trespasses? It has. Damn you. What I should have done in hindsight is just straight up declared war. I'm going to do that now. Um, so they're currently just neutral. The yeah, there's no way the you that you they're going to be able to contend you. with the power of the Anglo-Saxons. Wessex. So, I'm going to end the turn and continue. So, what am I going to do about the thumbnails and naming the campaign? Well, because the YouTube algorithm's a little bit sort of funny these days, I'm not going to rename the series to the Anglo-Saxons. I'm still going to call it uh, West Saxa. I'm Fire still going to say Wessex, but I might change the thumbnail. Let me know if you guys like to sort of see that. So, peace negotiated with Gwened and Dewitt. Duet. I don't know how to say that. Welsh names. Fling and fling and flung and flung and fling flong. Isn't that how you say native language in uh, Welsh? Right, we need to get rid of these grain halls because they really don't help out with public order. I've been having province instability here due to just all the industrial buildings that I don't know why the. Um, the Vikings had them. They must have some sort of anti-buffs against them. Because when I inherited, especially those lands in the Midlands, phew, we managed to get um, quite a lot of rebellions. That's why I've got this army here. Okay. You're kidding me. What is this intelligence? Fools. Maybe they're becoming a horde army. Well, Alfred's going to run these guys down here. Occupy. Do they not have a mate? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm being a little bit harsh on them. I just realized they don't actually have a major settlement. Uh, these guys only have minor territory. To be fair, they probably would have lost a lot. But we're making our first incursions within Wales, which is fantastic. So let's occupy the territory where we can. And there's probably not really too much we can do. We're just sort of occupying these farms. Uh, let's convert and run them down as best we can. 2,000 or so in the bank. I had you march out to hit this rebel territory, but we don't have enough men. And if they're not sort of pushing out against me, I don't care. They can muster those rebels. We still have a co... Oh, I need to set up probably another co-war target, actually. Or is this... Nope, there's still one there against my rebels. Um, I don't think we're going to have another rebellion. Because at the moment, all my vassals are currently Christian. No, they're not, except for one. Gwistling, why? Yeah, okay. Welsh Kingdom, so that means they probably don't like me too much. That's why um, Rigas here really rebelled, was because he had a different ideology to me. Okay, so we've got an army here in the north. Um, catapults, I would like to get. I got some catapults in some of my army builds. So what does this army lack? Spearmen, by the look of it. So let's get at least one lot of decent spearmen in. I don't particularly want to wait too long, so I guess you can have a lack of spearmen in this army. And you guys can have more swordsmen. Okay, well, there's no point of really having you just sit here, mate. Um, does it really rocket at that low? No. You can probably... Um, where can you go? Because we want to go to war with... We want to go to war with... Um, Gwynedd. So I'm trying to think what's the best way to get here. Probably through here. If you sort of head this way to Marthrathal, that's where we, we sort of want to be heading. Okay, let's run down these Welshmen here. Let's do a quick save. Oh, I forget. It does it in uh, Total Wolf already. So the main objective for this series is, of course, is to uh, take England, reforge England under Alfred the Great. I really wanted to earlier on... They, did they take it back? Oh, no, we didn't take it. No, faction destroyed. Uh, what I really want to do is some Viking invasions into, like, uh, Wessex sort of Viking-style invasions, invasions, you could say, by by invading, like, uh, Ireland and Scotland. But because this map's so busy, uh, big, and, like, we're having, like, these internal problems, it's probably not that sort of... It's not, it hasn't got the right sort of conducing circumstances, you know? Right, we definitely want to upgrade some of these territories in the south. Get some better quality men here. Maybe even some religious buildings here and there. Public order seems to be fine here. But maybe upgrade some of them. Where we can and upgrade um, garrisons, because we can't afford to lose them. We've got sort of parties out in here, because this costs, what, 550, 
530 to operate. 542. 530. Because you need to sort of have these the defending armies because there is quite a lot of raiders and stuff. Right, we've got 520 in the bank. You're heading up here at full stacked now. Look, we'll save that money. Right, let's um let's get rid of land cores here with Alfred. Uh, should we play this one or should we fight against Gwynedd? I'm going to encircle for the time that. being. Can I have a glimpse at Gwynedd? Do they have an army nearby? Oh, wow. Dublin has taken the advantage and taken out Gwynedd. In, uh... Ebb... Uh, Fro or whatever. Martharathal remains. Alright, looks like we're not going to have a huge clash against the Welsh. Apart from these guys here in land cores. We're coming up against... Arthulwall. Arth... Arthwil. Arthwal. Whatever. He's got five units of Welshman Freeman. A levy... Uh, not Freeman, sorry. They're just Welsh levies. Four units of Welsh levies there. One Welsh archer. One ja Two javelin. One ja Welsh javelinman. One levy. Scout. Look, he's... Um, he's going to get absolutely decimated. But I want to play a battle against the Welsh. We haven't played one in Thrones of Britannia just yet. So we're bringing, obviously, six of our armoured <laughs> and, like, chevron two knights. We've got male thanes, one unit of male uh, swordsmen, royal huskulls, four units of feared archers, four units of cavalry, and we've also got uh, one unit of artillery. But let's play this one against the Welsh. Just now have a quick sip of water. So, guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see uh, more of this campaign leave a like subscribe if you're new around here let me know your feedback in the comments feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying it let me know what other thrones of britannia content you want me to do because i've still got early access and it doesn't come out for a while just yet okay battle of land cores 1894 let's start the battle it does look like there's some um oh that'll be oh i should have left it like that please be nice please be yes I, I was just sort of spamming, spamming, spamming for a dry day, but we haven't had a battle in the snow. So, as we're fighting in one of these minor settlements, there is a little bit of buildings to the left and right. There even seems to be a... Uh, little log cabins. That's fantastic. So, you could, uh, you could arguably, if you wanted to, take some choke points here and uh, fight within the town. Here... Here, here, here seems plausible to fight. But we're going to do with a pitch style battle. I thought, why not fight in the snow? Uh, we haven't, obviously. But Alfred the Great is living up to the name most definitely. He's taken, of course, southern England in Wessex. Mercy has now bent the knee. And now he shows his kingdom at full strength, marching towards the Welsh. It looks like they're going to try and hit me as well. They're coming out to parlay. Fan bloody tastic. Here we go, men. Pick a target. Don't be afraid. God is with us. Let's throw da throw down with these Welsh. It actually looks like they have more men than me. Uh, maybe on that other side. Maybe we're a little bit lopsided. Just a bit. Yeah, we are too. We actually, units wise, are bang on even. Yeah, look at that. Okay, uh, let's move up my... Archers. Uh, potentially try and just hit their general. We might even be able to get a... Uh, nah, 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 we won't do that. We'll just try and weaken their archers. My catapult's already firing at will. Let's get a cavalry charge in. There's going to be one here. So let's play and press insert. 
charge, man! Have they seriously just thrown in their javelin, man? Foolish. But here we go. The Welsh. I've got to be on the other side. Looks better on the. Oh, we're heading. We're heading this way. I was gonna say you probably can see the shields better on that other side. Wales and Wessex collide. We didn't really get to show too much of the Welsh army composition, but they only sort of had Fjordmen and stuff anyway. Essentially, I'm gonna have to move my cavalry here in a sec. Because I don't want to lose them. Alright, let's pick apart the javelin and stuff at the rear. So what's this? That's an actual proper spearman. The general's dead. That's hilarious. Absolutely smashed him. Yeah, were there any swordsmen even in this? Catapults. Let's have a shot with that catapult. If you're curious to... That's way overshot it. That even had a bit of snow on that boulder. There we go, that might be a bit better. Come on, come on, come on. No, <laughs> fucking trying to blow it down. Have another crack at that. Oh, well, they've, they've fled anyway. Yes! No, I can't hit anything. I've got to... Oh, what? Why did none of my men die? That's weird. I thought that was a massive, like, fuck up friendly fire from me. Okay. So we're running down the remaining Welshmen here. So here's some of their axemen. There go some of their axemen. Look, the thing is, right, because these guys have lost so early on within their campaign. Like, this is our first tier swordsman, right? And here's our final tier swordsman. Kite shield melee thanes. They're fantastic. Here's our earl's horsemen as well. They look quite cool. And then we've just got our, our normal scouts there. Mailed long axes, royal huskulls as well. Okay, let's start speeding things up. Come on, guys. Make sure everyone runs down some... We need to get these chevrons. There's no point hanging around with your hands in your pockets. Hit them, archers. My cavalry can only do so much. Okay. So how do we do? You're kidding me. We lost 60 men in that fight. That's incredibly good. I accidentally clicked on Toggle Mellow for some reason. Alright, there mustn't be many more left. We want to get these last lot of chevrons. And get that army experience up. But as you can see here, this is Alfred the Great's unit. 200 men. Elite swordsmen. These guys are absolutely fantastic. To be fair, I never use them, I never need to. So we deployed 2,378. We lost 68. Arth Will deployed 1,776 and lost the entirety of it. No one did any good. They basically buckled after they copped a volley of artillery and skirmisher fire. Thanes did the best. Um, long axes did alright, my archers did okay, cavalry did really well as well. The thing is, Alfred's what? Rank 10, rank 0. And that pretty much just shows you the the uh, dividing class. Do, do we, do we guide us? The Dowie. <laughs> I'm thinking of the dwarves. Let's occupy. We're not going to subjugate these Welsh scum. And that's the faction gone. It must be. Yeah, it is too. Oh, wow. Alright, we don't want to sit around and not push the... Okay, we're going to have to. We're not going to sit around and push the initiative. Ooh. It's a bit cold here. <laughs> Basically how I just played that. Alright, let's turn. 
Okay, this is other army. Yeah, we'll go to war with Gwynedd in a, in a minute. Probably just auto resolving. Because they're smashed. In a normal campaign, My maybe if we're like. Grows. I don't know. Our third or fourth Thrones of Britannia campaign, I wouldn't be sort of showing these auto resolve stuff because it tends to get boring sometimes. I don't know, some people enjoy it, some people enjoy my ramblings. But when I ramble too much, I start singing and saying movie quotes. Maybe that's why you guys watch these. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can upgrade these guys to mailed horsemen. That's really quite cool. We might be needing to upgrade some of our guys here. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Right, so can we attack in one turn with Alfred? Sure. What What is um, Gwynedd's diplomatic status? The only reason why I hesitate and check is because Difflin came in and just smashed him. So, I wasn't too sure if they, like, subjugated them or something. Okay, so we're attacking Gwynedd now. Um, and who, yeah, is there, is there a king there, or did their king die? Never. Run. You're kidding me. His name's Run. Yeah, Tweedick, or whatever his name is, died. Oh, well, Tondbert can't attack in one turn. And it doesn't matter, because Edward can't get there regardless. Let's push for Marthrafel now. We need a siege before, like, where, um, Mercia comes. So let's get this heavier siege let's stuff done. Um, have we had a siege in this campaign yet? I'm trying to think. I don't think I have. It's just basically how the campaign sort of panned out. We've been fighting and con like we've been concisively winning within the field of battle, winning in our pitched battles before before we engage, you know what I mean? Uh, church there, I guess. Some of this territory we've ta Oh, we need to convert. Yeah, you stop that. I, I, I was like, oh, church, build, there, good. I knew I wanted to build a church somewhere. It was in Lands Corps. So let's quickly change you up. Perfect. Okay, you're besieging that. How far are you away? You're a couple turns. And it looks like... So who else isn't under my control? There. Uh, Difflin will leave. That doesn't bother me. That can be the last thing before we drag in a war against them. So you guys here of... Dewit. Do it. Dwet. Um, okay, they're enemies with some Irish kingdom. It's because... Yeah, I'm surprised Gwynedd had, like, you, like territory here. That's insane. So, we'll push against these guys as well. Uh, Gwynedd's under siege. Can't take it, of course. And we're pushing at Marthrathal. Cool beans. Happy with that. Let's end the turn to continue. I declared friendship as well with um, Northumbria. But they're definitely on the neck. The, uh, the hit list, you could say. They're next on the list to invade. We've still got that civil war, uh, not civil war, we're still going with that vassal war down in the south. Okay, so the Witten meets village. Oh, okay, right, what? The villages are ailing. Reports claim that w that in some places the pe peasants are not putting all, putting their all into their work. Right, the Witten. With their wide experiences of ruling and guiding the lower class, we help decide how best to address this. So basically, we're prospering. There's more food going around. We're getting more territory. The peasants are lacking. They're slacking off. Alfred's out here marching all around the countryside and taking territory, and the peasants are not holding their, um, their weight. So we get a minus three supply. But we managed to get a 10% on the Fjord counter. Look, I think what that means is I get plus 10 Fjord counter. Does that mean I just get more men willing to join and fight? Conscript the peasants. Recruit some of the young fit, fit villagers into the army and give them a sense of purpose. Encourage the villagers to grow and develop and a sense of community. More meal. Yeah, I think we'd probably better off doing that. 
because we've already got our armies. We've already got our armies. We can't afford to lose supply because we need them to be sort of running that, you could say. Okay. So let's take Martha Rathal. Um, I want prevail. Edward to take it. We await your commands. And he can in one turn. I'm going to break the siege. Even though we got siege equipment. And even though it's going to cost more lives if Alfred ta uh, Edward takes it. But I need my son to be a competent commander. I need to throw him into these situations. I need to get his army experience up if he's going to rule. His father has given him a test. Will Edward succeed? And he does. He's his father's son. Carving through the heartland of Wales, taking Marth Rathal. Taking, um... Liberate. Powers. The former Powers capital. We're not gonna... We're not gonna bloody... Puppet them. Who the hell do you think we are? Let battle commence. Okay, let's probably finish off Gwynedd. The Welsh... Wales! Wales has fallen! Liberate. Sis. Swig. I don't care. I don't care about these Welsh names. Right, where are we? Uh, Gwynedd. They've still got a territory in the north. Lendawi. Look, we'll deal with them. Quite easy. Okay. Let's save and uh, do another turn, I guess. Um, I guess push you this way. Uh, there's a rebel territory there you can take. Lan Pandern. Padern. And then we've got these guys to deal with. Let's get Edward out of there. Maybe leave Aetherwald in the north. Once we finished off with Wales, unless we get attacked by the Irish. I wouldn't put it past them. The Kingdom of Difflin. Or Dublin, if you will. Modern day. It's interesting the naming of it, because it was like... It's Difflin now, isn't it? That's how you pronounce it. But, um, I've heard it pronounced Dovlin. Um, in a different time period. And then, uh, obviously Dublin. Which is quite cool. Okay, so let's send, um... Let's send Edward south. Let's send you there to repair. Let's send Tonbert to the rebels. Deal with that. And... Oh, you can actually occupy land pattern. Take the paddock of pattern. There's 19 units there. Rodri. I'm tempted to hit that. We had a battle in today's episode already. But it's only been a minor one, and if we don't, we're probably not going to to play a good battle against the Welsh, I don't reckon. So I'm tempted to push here. There's no garrison. Rodri, the last Welsh king, holds it. That's, um... I think that's What's-His-Face's son. Um, what is... It's one of Gw I think that's Gwynedd's brother, sorry. But I think what Rodri was another person as well, actually. Okay, so they still haven't taken out Cornwall. Cornwallis. We definitely need to destroy that barn because it gets us bad public order. We can't drop the mine anymore. Oh, we've got these, get rid of these gallows there. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of the barn because it gives us bad public order. We don't want that stuff. And we can't convert either. So let's break that down for the time being. Okay, um, should we push out and have a battle with... It is Alfred against Rodri. He's only two-star command. Uh, look, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's declare war on them. And let's uh, attack Rodri. This is something more I'm talking about. Four units of Welsh levy. A unit of Welsh armoured. Two units of Welsh levy, 
four units of wealth javelin men, holy crap. And then uh, three units of three scoutmen, some warhounds. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we should be fighting. We'll fight this manually. To be fair, Mercia managed to smash most of Wales before I even got to them. King Rodri, the last man of Wales, is uh, going to defend against Alfred the Great. But Alfred has made a pretty good dynasty so far. Throwing out the Vikings from England. There's no Vikings currently in England. With occupied territory, so that's a cool stat for you. Um, it's probably going to be a similar thing, but I want to be out of flank. Basically, I want to have a front line of, of swordsmen to push. It's probably going to be another charge, I reckon. Uh, maybe not. Oh, there's a rock there. Which is, um... Hurting us. Look, what I'm going to do, that actually helps us if we're a bit back. If it splits their front line, like, if that can be our centre. It's not going to be, because they're going to be probably there. That's probably not a bad idea. Right, let's keep our axemen on the flanks. Um, and we'll, that's just sort of how it's going to have to be for that, I think. So we're weaker on the left flank. Alfred can always come in and help. I'm going to sit back, relax for this assault. Be cool, calm, and collected. And we'll have the day. We have cavalry superiority. I'll put the heavies on the left. Just in case we get like attacked or something. We got some nice forest here. Should I use that to my advantage? Potentially. And um, we might be able to do an envelopment here. And then maybe like a slow crawl or something. There we go. We just need to be hidden. There we go. Cool. Okay, so let's go through the army here as Alfred the Great and our catapults of, as well, artillery. Alfred the Great, the man, the myth, the legend. The son of God. <laughs> no, he's a little bit that. Oh, you got the beard for it. He's not there. Alright, okay. We've got our Hoskulls on the right here. Men of Wessex at the front. Uh, so here's the, um, the top tier lads. And here are some of the low tier. But they're still formidable. Silver chevrons. So this is our first time looking at mailed horsemen as well. We managed to recruit them fresh. These guys are most definitely going to pack a punch. And then we've got scouts intertwined with them. Let's start the battle now. And yeah, so basically... Okay, so they've been seen. I don't want it to be double click like Yeah, why is that double clicked? Like you just need to walk. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's what I want. That's way too big, that is there. More like that, yeah. Catapults at the ready. So try and hit some of their Welsh armoured. So let's have a quick look at their units. So here's their general unit. It's actually a cavalry unit the Welsh have. King Rodri on his horse, the last brave defender of Wales to wash the tide away. Wash Wessex away, I guess. So I want to see these hound units because I've never actually seen them in Thrones of Britannia. So here they are. There's the famous sort of Welsh-German mutt. English, I guess. Oh, God, those things look scraggy. They haven't had a wash in years. Where are the sheep? Where are the burning sheep? Man, I missed that from Rome. Like, back in the day. Okay, so we've actually been enveloped here, as I haven't been watching. It looks like our thing has sprung. Yeah, we've been flanked. Buggy use. Just, yeah, there we go. Charge. Okay, we're going to be alright though. Yeah, charge that. Kill their general. 
shield wall. I should have put a shield wall up a long time ago. They've actually stopped. Shield wall. Shield wall, lads. I forgot that we needed a shield wall. That's fine. We're going to be able to do it, though. Oh, my God. These units are being turned into pin cushions. Especially there. The enemy general is, the enemy general is dead. Now we've killed Rodri. Let's move their cavalry the out. In our favor. Um, they're gone. Flank. Flank with you. Uh, swing this way. Alright, cool. Get my archers to run, uh, my horsemen to run down there. Alright, pivot and scoot, boot and scoot, lads. Shield wall with the front. If you can hit a side, do it. What happened to their war hounds? Where are they? I didn't see the hounds charge. Oh no, there's some there. Kill their puppy dogs. Kill them. They still seem to be doing some damage. They're still airing it out, but most of the mutts lie dead in the dirt. Artillery can halt now. They run out of ammunition anyway. Only uh, 100 killed. That's insane. That just shows you how efficient it is to go for their general. Like, charge your axemen into them so you can slaughter them. They're still holding on. Not for long. Archers, you have fire at will. Let's get this slaughter train rolling. Hit them in the rear. Are these guys not wearing pants? These guys should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> They're getting absolutely buggered. Oh, it's fantastic. So, who even is still in combat? There's a unit of javelinmen here. There's a couple of units here still, surprisingly. Okay, so we've got some general buffs here we didn't even end up using. So let's just chuck them all within this vicinity and... Uh, let's get rid of these guys. There we go, with one. Praise God, your victory is moments away. Okay. So, cavalry. Pick someone to run down. Oh, they're running down. The oh, you need to be running down someone a bit higher up here. Oh, you caught them. Oh, Huskals, you did well. Yeah. But to be fair, you probably could order resolve this one as well. Um, hopefully we get a good fight somewhere. Decisive victory. 2,382. We lost 149. They deploy pretty much the same as me. It's just because of their unit quality, man. Like, as you see, they've got four units of spearmen, no swordsmen, so they just couldn't do anything. Those javelinmen, I thought they did alright. Four, four, six, seven, eight, one, and zero. Those warhounds are atrocious. How do how well did my other guys do? 108, 101, 100 there. Archers did really well, of course. And uh, Alfred's unit didn't get any. That's alright though. Cool beans! We've killed Rodri and practically a full stack. We're going to finish off this last slither of the Welsh off camera. But on that note, guys, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll probably finish off the Welsh off camera in an order resolve because, look, we're all with Gwynedd. They've got one region. They're at war with Ridri, his son. <laughs> That's funny. So we'll deal. We're not at war with Gwisling, are we? No, they don't like me, though. So, yeah, where are we sort of looking, um, yeah, uh, campaign-wise? So, after this, man, oh, whoa, Devon's 
got a huge separatist rebellion. We might have to deal with that then. Uh, I guess so. All right. So, once we take out the Welsh, everything south of Northumbria is ours, except for some small separatist pockets. We might go to war with Northumbria. Unless, unless they're willing to bend the knee. Osbert, our relations are improving. Defensive pact sufficient. Military alliance insulting. Create vassalage insulting. We are quite heavily in the balance of power. They're at war with... Hilborg, have they come back? I swear we got rid of every... I thought... Oh, they're... They're technically there. Oh, I didn't even see that. Damn you! So there are some Vikings here. Helborg. I guess they must have come back. Oh, I thought I destroyed all the Vikings. We practically have. Like, what I meant by that statement, when there's no Vikings in East Anglia. There's no one invading me now. And there's definitely no one in the Midlands or... Or up in Northumbria, even. Yep, so we'll deal with these guys off camera. I'll, I want to have the assault on Northumbria. I want to take that in the next couple episodes. Then we've still got Scotland and, and Ireland to deal with if you guys would like to see that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to the Creative Assembly once more for sending me early access and allowing me to start my campaign. Thoroughly been enjoying Thrones of Britannia so far. 60 or so turns in we are. I said at the start of the video, I can't remember exactly. But I've been having a blast and... Uh, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on as well. Test around. I want to know your thoughts and opinions when you get it. Yeah, it comes out 3rd of May, 4th of May in Australia. So what I might do, actually, I might, unless, unless anything happens, I might sort of skip a couple of turns ahead for the next episode. Take this territory. If there's a decent battle, I'll play it. But I might just get ready for the offensive either against Wales or Northumbria, depending on what you guys say in the comments. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.